let's say this x right here is your cursor and this is a ball moving at high velocity. If it's moving from here in one frame to here the next frame, it's not going to detect any collision with this red point right here. In order to solve that, you need to use something called capsule collision, where you project the velocity vector, illustrated by this guy right here, in front of the moving object. And then you give that velocity vector a thickness, illustrated by these purple points. So if I take this point and I execute my script, it lights up green because it is within uh, the bounds of the thickness of my velocity vector. If I move it out of here, it's going to turn red. So this is uh, how I would implement a cursor uh, colliding with a fast moving object. Now what if instead of this being a cursor you want it to be another ball, right? Well, I already implemented that too, so if I just change something in my script... Okay, and unhide all. Now, right here, lights up green, and if I move it over here, it's uh, too far away because this is a rect rectilinear box here. The line has thickness, but it's not rounded at the edges because ideally you would just uh, you know, have your ball here in one position and here in one position, so there's no need to check for anything really past here. Um, anyways, if I uh, move this down here, execute, lights up, so it works pretty well. Oops. I really didn't code this for Max script. I really don't see a reason to do this in Max script. But MaxScript is really good for prototyping visual things. Um, it's very easy to see what you're working with when you're working with geometric formulas. And so every time I want to experiment, I hop into MaxScript. I'm going to translate this into ActionScript now so I can uh, code some bouncing balls, and it's going to be pretty awesome. Um, it's kind of weird to say that I'm going to code in one language first and then go to another, but Max script's just so much easier to debug when it comes to visual things like this that it was just the way to go. So the code will be in my blog if you want to take a look at it. The demo file will be in there too. So if you're curious on you know how to do this kind of math, uh, well the formula is in there. And I actually used this uh, cool uh, formula for the intersection of two vectors instead of using line formulas, so I was pretty proud of it. Um, maybe you're really good at math and you think it's lame, but hey, check it out. Yeah, just do it. Okay, bye-bye.